Welcome to All I Mass TV again. Here yeah, we have a very simple challenge. Okay, the question is e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x equal to zero. What there will be the value of x? Now the question is simple, but there is a reason why I decide to bring for this uh, question because at the end of the day we're going to have a kind of a contradiction in one of the roots but there is a special equation called the most beautiful equation given by uh, one of the greatest scientists of all time known as um, Ola and we're going to use that equation to get the solution to the second root so that is the essence of bringing out this question so sit back as we dive into this uh, challenge all right so let's take our, our question without much waste of time so we take our selection so we'll take here selection but before we put down our uh, question if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video because here at All Online Mouse TV, we release at least a video every day. Okay, so let's go back again. Yeah, we pull down our question, which is our e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x equal to zero. Okay, very easy. Yeah, let's remove this negative uh, power. If we remove this minus sign, we're going to have this e to the power of x minus 1 all over e to the power of x equal to 0. According to the law of indices, we see that if you have a to the power of minus 2, this is equal to 1 all over 1 all over your a or to the power of 2. Okay, so the one and the division sign has taken place or replaced the minus sign here. So if we apply that to this expression, we'll get to this point here now. Now with this, let's multiply true by e to the power of x to eliminate this denominator. And so if we do that, we're going to have this to be your e to the power of x dot e to the power of x minus 1 all over e to the power of x dot e to the power of x equal to 0 dot e to the power of x. Okay, now if we look carefully, this we go with this. Then everything here will give us 0 because 0 times anything will still give us 0. And so from here, we now have this to be your e to the power of 2x minus 1 equal to zero okay very easy now if we look at this expression here now we can rewrite this in another format so this is same thing as your e to the power of x or to the power of two minus one equal to zero what i just employ here now is simple the law of indices which says that if you have your a to the power of m n this is same thing as a to the power of m bracket into your n, which is same thing as a to the power of n, okay, n bracket, also m. So if we look at this carefully, if we apply this to this, to this expression here, we're going to have this. So the thing has not really changed the whole thing. Okay, now with this, if I put square on this one, it has not changed the whole thing. So we can rewrite this again as our e to the power of x or to the power of 2 minus 1 squared equal to 0. I want to bring out a special identity here. Hence, I'm bringing out this manipulation here now. So if you look at this, there is another law again which says, let's erase this and see what that gives us. Let's proceed on this other side first. So we proceed like this. There is a law that says that if you have your x squared minus y squared, this is equal to your x plus y plus bracket, bracket, open x minus y plus bracket. This is what we call the difference of two squared. So if we apply the difference of two squared to um, this expression here, then we're going to come out with a special expression. Okay, so with this in mind, let's go ahead and apply that. So our e 
to the power of x or to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to e to the power of x plus 1 close bracket bracket e to the power of x minus 1 close bracket very easy okay now with everything we have here mind you this equal to zero so this now implies our e to the power of x plus one close bracket bracket e to the power of x minus one everything equal to zero at this point we succumb to the zero product rule which says that we equate this bracket to zero equate this bracket to zero okay so if we do that then we're going to have this to be our e to the power of x plus one equal to zero or our e to the power of x minus one equal to zero very easy so we send this one to this side send this one to this other side so this will now give us e to the power of s equal to minus one or e to the power of x equal to one all right now we are looking for x this guy is going to give us a problem hence we want to make use of that special or that beautiful equation but let's handle this first so let's take this as our case one so we have here case one our case one we have here e to the power of x equal to one so from here what we do here is to uh, bring in a natural log to take care of this guy here and so from here we're going to have this to be our i n e to the power of x equal to i n of one and so the i n with say natural log will take care of this natural log so we are left with what x and this will now give us x is equal to i n one will give us zero okay so this is the first root to our equation this exponential equation so let's look at the second one is it possible to get our x from this equation here let's proceed and see what this gives us okay so we take case two we have here case two our case two is e to the power of x equal to minus one how do we solve this this is where the beauty of this challenge comes in all right so let's start from here again and see what this gives us now being a natural log and here we are having a negative one this is going to pose a kind of challenge hence we want to bring in uh, the special equation given by Euler according to Euler the equation says that e to the power of i pi plus one equal to zero this is equation that was formulated by the uh, great mathematician Euler okay so if you have e to the power of i pi plus one equal to zero from here i is imaginary number pi is real number so we are saying that you have a real number multiplied by imaginary number okay if we take the log of it the natural log of it what would that give us from this equation here is going to give us minus one okay from here send this one to this other side so we have e to the power of i pi equal to minus one okay let's keep this guy and hold it here huh? now with this we take our case two which says e to the power of x equal to minus one so wherever we have minus one we can replace it with our other equation or identity which says e to the power of i pi and so we bring down our a so we have here e to the power of x equal to minus one let's replace the whole of this minus one with this yeah so we have e to the power of x equal to e to the power of i pi good now the bases are the same since the bases are the same so we strike out and equate the exponent and so this will now give us here yeah, x is equal to i pi dx is the second root to our challenge but here we want to check if the first root and the second root are okay or we satisfy our equation okay right so from here let's check 
let's check. Check. Say x, we solve our first x to be 0. So we have here case 1, where we have x equal to 0. Our equation says your e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x equal to 0. So we have this to be e to the power of 0 minus e to the power of minus 0 equal to uh, 0. And anything to the power of 0 definitely will give us 1 according to the law of indices. Of course, I have a video on the different laws of indices, but it's titled The Several Pillars of Indices. And it's showing up here, okay? All right, so let's continue. With this we have here, this is going to give us here 1 minus e to the power of minus 0 is still the same thing as e to the power of 0. And this is going to give us minus 1, which is equals to 0. Minus 1 minus 1, of course, will give us 0. So let's proceed on this other side. Again, here we're going to have this to be 0 equal to 0. So this shows that the first root is correct. Now let's try the second one if it is correct. Our second root, which is case 2. So we have case 2, which says that x equal to your i pi. Okay? With this, we bring down our equation again. Our equation says your e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x equal to 0. So here we have here e to the power of i pi minus e to the power of minus i the pi. Everything equal to 0. Again, let's remove this minus sign. So we can rewrite this equation as e to the power of i pi minus 1 all over your e to the power of i pi equal to 0. Good. Now, we've established the fact that e to the power of i pi is equal to minus 1. So wherever we see this quantity here, this identity here, what we do? We put in minus 1. Okay, let me roll it together. So this with this expression here, Whenever we see e to the power of i pi, we put in minus 1. So we have it here, we also have it here. And so this will now become your minus 1, minus 1, all over minus 1 equal to 0. Minus 1 all over minus 1 will give us minus 1. And so we have this to be minus 1, minus bracket, minus 1 equal to 0. Again, we use this to open up this bracket. If we do that, we're going to have here minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. And of course, minus 1 plus 1 will give us what? 0. Uh, zero. So we have 0 equal to 0. Huh. So we'll be able to show that the two roots are, are correct, okay, using the Euler equation or the Euler most beautiful uh, equation. Uh, one of the greatest mathematicians with these uh, tips to solving for the second root. I want to believe that you must have gained something special from this uh, challenge here or from this uh, problem, okay, from this solution. If you have gained something special from this challenge, please give the video a thumbs up. And do not forget to share with family and friends members of your crew that need this knowledge of mathematics remember this is jix and this is online max tv i love you and all of us at online max tv love you so much thanks for always be there till i come your way again bye for now